G'day everybody and welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're just going to have a bit of a, a look through. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I've done a review, but uh, over that time and a little bit before that I've picked up a few pop figures that I thought I'd just go through, give everybody a bit of a squeeze at. Um, these guys basically stand on the shelf or sit in a box. Um, but I thought we'd give a, have a look through. Some people get them, some people may have already had them. They've been out for a while, some of them. Some of them have just come out. Uh, but anyway, let's have a look. So we'll start down here with Iron Fist. Those are uh, following Netflix. Probably uh, are loving the new Iron Fist Netflix series there. You can see him in his traditional costume with the green. And there's his fist there. And then there's the, uh, uh, they call it a restricted sale version here in Australia. But uh, I think there was a, an exclusive at one of the stores in the US. And he has his white uh, costume with both fists fired up. Uh, really nicely done. And uh, looks quite nice. So you've got a bit more gold. So we've basically got the green and the yellow here on the figure here but then when we go to the more exclusive figure it's the the gold and the white then we've got uh, Doctor Strange as you can see here with the, the detail they do really get fantastic detail in on these things even through to the, the back of the cape there you can see and there's the back of the figure you've got the detailing through the cape uh, a little bit of a bobble there I like the, the shading they do in the hair and his little goatee but that's him there there is a I think there was an exclusive version of him as well when he uh, has one of his hands raised, performing one of his casting spells. Uh, this is from Netflix as well. This is the Punisher uh, from the Netflix Daredevil series. Uh, here there is a chase version where the Punisher has um, got the uh, Daredevil's helmet or mask in his hand, but uh, I prefer this version. It's pretty much true to the Punisher form. Getting beaten up, but uh, getting a little bit badass. But uh, really like the way they've done the hair too with the sort of shadow shade effect. Nice little of the ears there and uh, he looks quite nice moving on to uh, daredevil there's two versions of the daredevil uh, i really like this one because he's got his uh, his cane ready to go i like the detailing in the costume i'd love to see these guys uh, eventually see the two worlds the tv world and the uh, film world combine for the uh, the avengers movies never know but time will tell but there you got him there. Then we have someone I've been waiting for for a very long time, and that's Juggernaut. This guy is huge. He's actually um, very heavy. Uh, his head's quite big, as obviously you can tell. But uh, fantastic design on the face. Uh, and he is quite a large figure. If you um, sort of put him next to the Daredevil, and if I can zoom up, you can see he is about probably another inch taller. So he's not actually a six inch figure, but uh, he's probably about a four and a half inch figure compared to the usual three, four inch figures that we have. So. Fantastic to see him in scale like that. I'd love to see them release another Hulk version like that to uh, put him at the same size there. Then we've got someone I've been waiting for for a very long time, and that's Weapon X. So you can see him there. He, um, I didn't think we'd ever see him in Australia. He's a, a Target exclusive over in the US, but uh, he did make his way down to Australian shores, which is fantastic. I love the detail on this guy. He, um, he's one that I think a lot of people have been waiting for for a very long time. So it was great to see him finally hit shelves down here on the online stores. Uh, and then there's a few, uh, just a few Batman, uh, the Dark Knight or Dark Knight, Dark Knight Returns uh, from the animated um, comic, not from the uh, the animated film. So you've got Armored Batman, pretty much the inspiration for the, the Batman v Superman movie. And you're probably wondering why has he got a blue cape? Well, in the actual comic, he does have a blue cape. Uh, not bobbleheads, these guys, just uh, the swivel heads. Then you've got uh, Superman here, and you'll notice little fine lines on the face there, just to show that the characters have aged, because Batman has uh, well and truly aged. He's no longer the young man that he once was. And it's interesting to see that Superman age as well in the comic. And then we have Batman in his black costume. There he is there. A couple of ruffles, and doesn't fill out his, his costume as he once did. A little bit loose and wrinkly. And then we have the unmasked Batman in the battle armor, which is fantastic. I really like the uh, the shading they've used for the hair. You can see the wrinkles there on Bruce's face, and and gone through there. Now there's a bucket load of boxes over here. Oh, this one here, Ghost Rider. Been hanging out for this guy for a long time now. You can see the price tag there, fifteen dollars. I wish I'd have paid fifteen dollars. Pay a little bit more from that, but uh, it was a fantastic pickup. Really, really good price. And um, basically looking forward to bringing him out and putting him on the shelf as well. Just haven't got around to that yet. 
Uh, there's a couple of others there in the back of the round you can see there, but collect them all. Other than that, that's just the boxes there. I'm going to be getting rid of those, oh, except for this guy, because he's still in a box. Picked up two, so you can see he's a Target exclusive. But um, the boxes there, there's your Superman box. So that's the other figures in the, the Dark Knight Returns line. The Joker, uh, uh, Carrie, who was Robin. And then you've got Batman in his blue outfit. And that's pretty much the... The rest of the armored Batman boxes. Uh, but anyway, I hope that's uh, inspired you to maybe pick up these pops if you're a bit of a pop collector. Uh, as I said, always, if there's anything here in the room behind me that uh, you haven't checked out on the channel, check out the reviews because pretty much everything here has been reviewed. Uh, if it's not there, let me know and I'll, I'll see if I can get around to doing a review on it. But uh, anyway, that's probably my next review over there. You've got the Wolverine vs. Hulk uh, Greatest Battle comic pack. I'll get around to doing that sometime soon. But anyway, thanks for watching, keep subscribing, thanks for giving likes and thumbs up to the videos, and cheers!